Welcome LEGO fans, I'm Holger, the Austrian brick fan from Carinthia in Austria. And as you have seen on the thumbnail and from the video title, this video is no speed build review video for one special LEGO set. It's a haul video, yes! I've got several new products officially released on August 1st, 2022 here in my country, in Europe, in the United States. I know some release dates are different from ours, but for example, some sets that are already rele released here in Europe will come out in the United States on August 1st too. I've shown them mostly in the past, but today I show you real new sets for the most of them. I think the release date is exact the same in the United States. So, I think let us start. The first one is um, the now fifth series of the Super Mario collectible figures. Now in new packaging. Um, the last ones was in the same packaging as the collectible minifigures. Now we have here these um, paper boxes and I think the new minifigure series coming out next month will be packed in the same uh, style of box. What I don't know if is this, if the size will be the same. I can um, think that the minifigure boxes will be a little bit smaller. You see there a small number here standing the two. That's why um, my dealer, where I get this from, sorts them out before I get them. So I have eight pieces from this series and that means I have all eight different figures out of this series. So as you can see here, six, seven, eight. So I have a complete series from those series five figures. I will put them a little bit on the side that we have space left on the table. Then there comes out two new Minecraft sets. The first one is set number 21189. It's called the Skeleton Dungeon. This is this one here. You can see a short look at the back of the box. And then a little bit bigger one that costs 50 euros or dollars, the Abandoned Village, containing uh, several smaller builds that you can rebuild in different styles, as we can see here on the back of the box. Minecraft, I really enjoy building the sets, but with the game, I don't play it, I have no time, but my kids do. Then there comes out to Speed Champion set, all two licensed not only from the car manufacturer, as also from the movies they are based on. There we have here set numbers 7, 6, 9, 11 and 9, 12. On the one side the Aston Martin based on 007 James Bond. And on the other side the Dodge Charger from Dominic Toretto out of the Fast and the Furious movies. Both I think are really cool. I love the Speed Champions and I love James Bond and of course the Fast and the Furious movies. And one point at these two sets, normally the Speed Champions of the last years were priced around about $20 or Euros. The two new one will rise up the price to 25, but both of them are, one of those is over 300 pieces. The other one is I think short under the 300 piece count. I don't know exactly, you can check this on the LEGO homepage. So I put them away on the site. Then we have one new art set, the floral art set. This is smaller than the older ones, still available or even not. The Iron Man and Star Wars and Marilyn Monroe and Beatles one are um, not available anymore. They're end of life, AOL, we say in the Lego community. And this one here is floral art containing 2,870 pieces. And the price is much lower than from the bigger ones. 
This one here is around about $70 or euros and contains, I think, only six from those 16 by 16 uh, plates. The bigger ones containing nine. And you can choose of many different designs you can build. With the set, there are three different designs, but there are many others that you can download from the LEGO homepage. And I think in the future from Rebrickable or something equal. And then what we've got here is several Star Wars sets. And I think there we start with the smallest one, the Obi-Wan Kenobi's Yeti Starfighter. This is this one here. Of course, not the first Yeti Starfighter we get from LEGO Star Wars, but I think it's an iconic set that should always be available on the market equal to an X-Wing and a TIE Fighter and a Millennium Falcon. Then one set is many discussed from other people around of the community because many people don't like this one here uh, because the theme represented here is not um, this well known I think. It's set number 75334 and it's called Obi-Wan Kenobi vs Darth Vader. We have some play features in the set. We can see here on the back of the box. And I think I make my mind after I built it. So I put it on the side and we are going to the next set. Um, I must take a look what's left here. Okay, okay. then we take this one here. This is set number 75336 called the Inquisitor Transport Skiff. I don't know if, it, if I spelled it correctly. Um, a black starship, I think that looks really cool. I like it. Can't wait to build it, but I don't know which one I built first of the new sets. Then one set is the ATTE, not the first ATTE released, of course, from LEGO Star Wars. And about this set, there are several rumors if it comes out really on August 1st in the United States, because on the LEGO homepage, first there stands release August 1st, and then there stands only coming soon. So I don't know what's the situation now. Here, by me in Austria, you see it, I've got it and I'm really excited about it because it's um, only the second ATTE. The first one was this from um, Rebels. This Commander Rex, I think was the name. Commander Rex is ATTE. And then we have from the Mandalorian, the Justifier. That's the biggest set out of this uh, wave and the most expensive one with 170 dollars or euros and it looks cool but it's very expensive i think but that's re related on the star wars theme we can't change it and then one last star wars set is the bd1 the buildable droid that fits in the collection started several years ago with the BB-8 and um, several other figures built in the same way with a small display uh, piece. Of course, this don't uh, is part of the Star Wars Ultimate Collector series, but it um, should fit in the same range if you display it in a shelf. So, three sets left, two Technic one and one Marvel one, I can tell you. And the first one we have here is the set number 42144, the Material Handler, I think was the name. Yes, Material Handler, um, a pneumatic controlled excavator on wheel base, not on chain base. And it looks cool, the color scheme in red and black is uh, not new. We have an excavator in the past that has um, red as color, as main color too. But I'm really excited about the new Technic sets because Technic is my most favorite theme, you know that, if you follow my videos. 
and the second one is the biggest helicopter released yet from Lego, the Airbus H175 rescue helicopter. And this one has motorized functions, so there is the control plus hub included, but not the um, remote control that we know from the uh, Cat Bulldozer and the Mercedes Citros and the uh, lip hair excavator. This one is the battery box we should, we could know from the Osprey. But the Osprey is not that much, um, it's not released officially. I own the Osprey. Perhaps you have seen the video about it, but I can link it here in the info box if you want to show it. And this one has uh, over 2000 pieces. I as, as I said before, the biggest LEGO Technic helicopter released yet. And it looks great. I'm really excited how big this one is. And then we have the last one. I said it before, it's a Marvel one. Many people are waiting for the Sanctum Sanctorum from Doctor Strange. Based on the second Doctor Strange movie, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, containing 2,708 pieces and it's built in classic modular building style so it will fit perfectly in your modular building collection and yes I like it it's really cool it's uh, built in the same way that means you can put the floors um, each way and you can take a closer look in the inside and so on I like it it's really cool so that was it for today with my haul video. Uh, thanks for being part in this live premiere. Um, you can see I was in the chat active and answered your questions. You probably have asked me and tell me now in the comments if you like this haul videos in premiere format. I would really like to know it. So, and now I say goodbye and hopefully we see us in the next video.